Hey guys, welcome to Allie and Coco's Science Show. Today is Miss Colette's birthday. Say happy birthday. Yeah, we've been playing soccer all day, haven't we? Have you had a good birthday? I love you. Okay, so anyway, I was making Colette a birthday sandwich and I was here to get some parsley and I made an amazing discovery. Coco, what did we see? What did we see in here? Oh, she's gonna go get her ball. Well, go on, go get your ball. Do you want you? Do you want to play soccer? These are the eastern black swallowtail. So there's one right there, and there's one. Where is it? Right here. He's a little bigger. Focus just a little bit. So these aren't very big caterpillars right now. Are they, Coco? Okay, all right. So these are the Eastern Black Swallowtail, or the Papilo polyzenus. Is it hard being a little, a little guy in a big world? Come here. Coco, is it hard for you? Okay, it's maybe not that hard for her. Um, go let her play some soccer. But if you were a teeny, tiny caterpillar, it might be kind of hard to live in this big world with tons of predators. And these guys are cool because at all stages of their lives, uh, because butterflies go through metamorphosis. Hey Coco, do you metamorphosize? <coughs> they go through their three stages of metamorphosis and they're able to protect themselves at each stage. So uh, as larvae here, as these teeny tiny guys, they have those little, ooh, ooh, parsley in your face. They have kind of like little spikes, and that looks a little threatening. So they're eating parsley right now, and they get toxins, ooh, from the food that they eat. So that's pretty cool. So if you were a bird coming to swoop, swoop in and eat them, it might be, it might be not so tasty. You might get sick. So. That's one way that they protect themselves as larvae. What did you see? <coughs> What's up there? Hey. Every time, there she goes. They make their chrysalis, it'll be either brown or green, and that depends on their local genetics. So all the all the larvae, all the caterpillars have very similar genes, but based on their environment, different ones will be turned on or off. So some will be more brown, some will be more green, and that's so that they can blend in with their environment so they can camouflage. Colette, what would you camouflage with? Thoughts? All right. So that's how they protect themselves when they're crystallizing. So that'll take about 30 days, give or take. And so when they can't move, the best way to protect yourself is to hide. Colette can move a lot. And the third way they protect themselves is as adults. So they have sexual dimorphism. That means the males and the females look different. The males, here's a picture. The males have a lot of yellow coloration on their wings. Cool, right? But the females have a lot of blue on their underwings, on their hind wings. And that is called Batesian mimicry because the eastern black swallowtail, when they're caterpillars, they're kind of toxic. When they're adults, they're not. But the blue swallowtail, which looks a lot like the female eastern black swallowtail, are toxic their entire lives. So if you were a harmless eastern black swallowtail, you would want to look like a harmful, toxic, not very edible blue swallowtail. That way, no one's gonna mess with you. And it's really helpful because scientists have found that the female black swallowtail, when they're laying their eggs, they keep their wings up. That means they're gonna look like that blue swallowtail when they're laying eggs and in a kind of vulnerable position. 
So we looked at the Eastern Black Swallowtail today and we learned a little bit about how they stay protected in this big crazy world as teeny tiny little larvae, butterflies, and chrysalis, chrysalis. You got it. Um, and they're just really cool animals. And I found, oh no. What is it, Coco? What do you see? See a bird? She sees a bird. It's her birthday. I can't stop her. Um, <laughs> so, oh no. Dude, you're so tired. So, <laughs> no. Okay. Can you, can you sit? Can you sit? What a good dog. Hey. All right. All right. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Say bye, Coco. Okay. Bye. We found in this garden. So let's see. Coco, look up here. Can you? Oh, shoot. Come up. I... She's in the garden. Hey. No, no, no. Get out. Come out. Come on. Oh my goodness. Okay, Goofy, come here. Just come here. Can you hop right here? Hop on up.